Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about nutcracker fracture of the cuboid imaging. A nutcracker fracture of the cuboid refers to a cuboid bone fracture with associated navicular evasion fracture due to compression between the base of fourth and fifth metatarsal and calcaneus bone. The injury result usually occurs secondary to the traumatic abduction of the forefoot. The result in loss of the normal lateral column support and exists vulgar force upon the medial column that commonly cause rupture of the Gibialis posterior tendon or evasion fracture of its attachment onto media aspect of the tarsal navicular bone. A five year study demonstrated an annually incident of midfoot fracture as 3.6 in 100,000 per year in the United Kingdom, of which the cuboid account for 50% of all midfoot fracture. Mechanism of the nutcracker injury to the cuboid. In this injury, a cell force transmit through the fourth and fifth Metatarsal lead to failure of the cancellous bone of the body of the cuboid bone, but are insufficient to produce additional injury area in the midfoot. Additional, due to the strain on the insertion of the gibberish posterior during extreme for foot adduction, aversion fracture of the navicular bone can be associated with the nutcracker fracture of the cuboid bone. In the radiograph, fracture of the cuboid bone can be detected on plant radiography with anterior post AP lateral major oblique view of the foot, but non-displaced fracture can be missed. This is an example of the cuboy fracture on the oblique x-ray of the foot, so cortical disruption at the lateral aspect of the cuboy with lucency is standing into the body of the cuboy with a minimal shortening of the cuboid. In this case, it's a ray of food, so a commute fracture of the cuboid bone with mildly displaced fragment as well as moderate soft tissue edema. MRI can delineate injury with increased signal on T2 sequence, and the picture line can be determined if decreased signal is present on T1 imaging. So this is the this is the case fracture of cuboid bone due to compression of the lateral column of the foot, which is known as nutcracker fracture, which shortly of the cuboid.
A CT scan provides improved visualization of the fracture pattern and evaluation for shortening will play a key role in determining treatment recommendation. So this is an example of tubal fracture. We can see a fracture line through the tuboid with all posterior malleolus fracture. So this is a radiograph and some view of the CT scan. So the shortening of the lateral column and articular injury to the pupil with commuted stairs or commuted fragmentation. Management strategy include casting of immobilization, external fixation, or pen reduction, and internal fixation with or without bone dropping, and mid pass of children. Operative intervention is applied when there is lateral form shortening or hurt. Tipular displacement usually greater than one millimeter. Failure to the correct shortening of the lateral column usually lead to instability, best planus deformity, early arthritic, atrophic chain, and compensatory inversion of the input. Thank you.